It's kind of like this. I filmed three videos today and you'll see me drinking in every video. And th these videos are not from different days. I decided to wear different clothing for each video because it's obviously more attractive to the eye to click on to the videos. Cause I want y'all to watch this. Shamika and Tamika TV have an awesome series going on right now called L Street. And if you have not yet seen it, go ahead and click onto that video. I reacted to their first video. And now I'm going to react to the second one. This video is called, My Heart Broke When She Packed Up To Leave. Episode two. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. All I know is that I wasn't for the book. Like, I packed my things and I was ready to go. Like, period. I don't have time for the bull, the games, none of that. Like, I was just over it. I was ready to go. And good for you, girl. And good for you because you have a side to the story, too. For real, Shemekin? For real? I'm sorry. I can't. I cannot. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I feel like I don't do enough. I feel like you're unhappy. I feel like I'm, I, I just don't know what to do. I so so you walk away. You don't know what to do, so you walk away. You're just willing to throw everything we got away because not, you don't know love. I'm not. Okay, just that scene alone, from what I see, Shamika, who is the fan, has obviously had enough of what they've been going through, whatever it is. This is, and this is just from speculation. I really don't know the story yet. These are perspectives, you guys. Life in general, not just love. Everyone has a perspective. There is no such thing as truth. People always say there's three sides to a story. There's my side, there's your side, and then the truth. What the fuck are y'all talking about? There ain't no truth. There's perspectives. And this is what I see so far. I'm not trying to throw everything away. I'm not trying to walk away. I just, I, I feel overwhelmed and I just don't. Know. You feel overwhelmed? Do you, do you, do you even do. get it from my point of view? You want me to love you, but then I can't get love back? Like what, what the fuck is that? I do love Yo, you back. Yo, if you leave, it's fuck you, dog. If you leave, it's fuck you. It's fuck you. If you leave, it's fuck you, bro. Okay, okay, remember that you said that shit too. Mm. Fuck you, man, mm. And that's what happens when you're so in love with somebody and you feel hurt. It's the passion. The fights become so passionate to the point where you become disrespectful. Where you say, fuck you then. Is that really what you mean? Fuck no! That's not what you mean. But this is how you're feeling at the moment because you're hurt. And when you've gone through trauma and, and through some bullshit in life, your hurt turns to anger. And this is what's happening. When Shamika decided to pack up her bags and leave, it was the day that I lost my fucking mind, no cap. Mm. I mean, yeah, I had a lot of baggage. Yeah, I was damaged. But she was damaged too. You know how hard it is to love somebody who don't know how to love? Uh. It'll make you feel like you was going crazy or some shit. Uh, anxiety. You know I know putting up with me is Okay, girl, let's hear your story. I know a little bit about Tamika, but let's hear a little bit of Shamika. Detasked. I was born and raised in Boston. And to be honest, my relationship with my mother or my father wasn't the best. I had a terrible encounter with one of my mother's boyfriends, so our relationship was different after that. Mm. It was easier not to love than to fall for some bullshit. Love? I don't know. Like, that was something that I really didn't understand too much about at that point particular time like yes I know feelings how to love somebody like the feeling of loving somebody but I mean I was coming from a place where love was something that wasn't existing in my life like not at home not a relationship so I really did not know how to project that love emotion like I was still doing everything from my heart, I felt like it was showing her love, which would be mm. minor things that people do every day, cleaning, cooking, or mm. whatever, things like that. But I wasn't showing her the love that she was used to or the love that- She needed. She expected from- That she needed to validate your feelings. So I'm guessing that you weren't too vulnerable with your feelings. You weren't as open as she would have liked. 
experience or something that was equal to the love that she was giving me. So it was really, really tough. And I was just like through in the towel because I don't really deal too well with confrontation either mm. or high emotions and arguments. Like that's just something I don't really like to get involved in. So it was, it was hard. So And to you, it was probably like, damn, this is a lot of fucking drama that I do not want to deal with right now. Why can't everything just be rainbows and butterflies? Like, I, let's just deal with the good times. It was hard for her to deal with the hard times. She'd rather escape from it, you know? The easiest <laughs> thing for me is that of talking it out and explaining my emotions and letting her understand more about me and where I'm coming from and what I'm not used to and what I haven't experienced, I was just ready to throw in the towel. The day um, Shamika packed up- It's easier that way. It's easier to just escape from it rather than deal with it to leave it was probably like one of the worst days of my life hands down i like your sweater girl i know things got serious but i like your sweater it was also like the most pivotal too it was like the first time i felt like i would actually suffocate you know if she, if she left and that feeling was foreign to me i had never experienced that type of fight before like i gotta keep her you know like usually a female would dump me, I would take it on the chin and move on, you know what I'm saying? In this particular case, I, I was completely helpless. A lot of times, like, we see these couples and, and couples that we admire, and we like, man, we can see the chemistry with them too, and we like, man, they gonna be together for forever. And then something happened and they break up. And the first thing that people automatically assume is that somebody cheated. cheated. Right. And it's and not always about that. situation, that wasn't the case. Right. We just was not able to fuse. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't meshing well together. When one is not willing to communicate, when one is not willing to work on themselves and then work on the relationship, things are not going to work out because it's going to be a continued cycle of fights. Nothing but fights. There's going to be more negative than positive. It's not always about cheating. I was a good person, she was a good person. We just wasn't good together. And it happens so often in relationships and I feel like people overlook that shit. Mm. Love is one thing, being faithful is one thing, being loyal is one thing. That's one thing, that's, that's one thing, but it's not something that's gonna keep somebody with you. Right. You know what I mean? If you're gonna go together, you gotta be able to grow together. Right. Watch, Shamika. Watch, Shamika. Watch, <laughs> leave, bro. Like, are you sick? Girl, you say, fuck you. And then you beg her to stay. <laughs> That's how it be like. I'm, I'm sick of this shit. Are you promised that we're going to be able to work through this together? What do you think I've been trying to do? Are you going to give me a chance to be able to show you? Are you going to give me a chance to be able to show you that I don't want you to leave me? And this is when patience comes to play. If that person is willing to be patient with what you're dealing with to become a better you for yourself and for them, you have to be patient as well if you want that in return. And it seems like that's what Shamika is asking for. Like you have to be patient with me. Like not, not everything comes so easily for me. It's going to take work. I'm not used to this. You know? Either. But I just, I feel like, I feel like I'm just not making any strides to do anything right. I never said you wasn't making any strides. I'm just saying that you got to open up a little bit more for this shit to work. It's, it, it's two people in this relationship. Mm -hmm. I can't carry the weight of it all. Mm -hmm. And I understand you got your shit you dealing with, but I do too. Mm. I but you walking, you leaving for real. Right. I just was kind of, I need to just a break, just to think things over because I, I feel like I don't know. I need it. I need time to think. I need to think. I don't want you to leave. When I seen the emotion and the intensity that Tamika was displaying for wanting me to stay, that is what really gave me an open eye realization that, you know what I'm saying? She really does love me. She's willing to work this out, talk it out and to get through this together like i'm used to people just like giving up you know whatever once you say you're walking out that's it but i really genuinely seen tamika's heart like just pour out and pour open and that is what made me want to stay because i'm like I because you saw the fight in her you saw her fighting for you sometimes the relationship has to hit those hard times 
that rock bottom to really test your love, to really test what you're willing to fight for. And it seemed like this was one of those moments. I haven't had anybody like actually fight for me and want me to be in their life and want, wanted to show me genuine love. Like, so I was like, I'm definitely willing to give this a try. Like, it's not anything that I'm used to, but it's something that's positive and I want that you to need, move girl. forward in a positive light. Like, right. I don't want to do nothing that's negative or feel like I was taking 10, step, 10 steps backwards, you know. Her love and her intensity and the way she loves is what's intriguing to me and what reels me in every time. Sometimes I feel like people have a tendency to let their pride and their ego like interfere like with them being happy. Mm. And I'm gonna be honest with Girl. you. I'm so happy that my ego did not interfere with me that day. Girl. And I'm happy that I fought for my girl and I fought to save my relationship. Because if I did take those measures, then I would be happy seven years later, yeah. you know? Yeah. I feel like sometimes we get caught up in wondering or worrying what somebody else is gonna think. Oh uh. uh, man, you lame taking them back or you lame. It's not even that. Well, it's not only that, I should say. You're battling yourself. You're thinking in your head, I deserve better than this. Why is she treating me like this? I can't have her step all over me. Like where the fuck is my pride at? Where's my self worth at? It's okay to feel like that sometimes, but you also have to check yourself. Your pride can be a good thing, but it can also ruin you. You don't wanna lose someone who is good to you. You, you really have to weigh your pros and cons. Has that person been more of a positive impact in your life than negative? Because if so, fuck your pride. Throw your pride out the window. Because if you choose that ego and that pride, it's going to ruin the relationship, but it's going to damage you. And you don't want that. You can't worry about these other folks, bro. Like, you know how you feel about the person that you're with. You know deep in your heart if it's somebody who you can see yourself with, and you know deep in your heart if it ain't. I want you to leave, man. I want you to stay. Please stay. Please stay. With Shamika, I always seen the future. So it was like very important that I did whatever I had to do to keep her. And that's including begging if you have to. Because when things switch around, hopefully they beg for you to stay as well. My mother not being there growing up, she was doing all of the drugging and everything, it fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? To this day, I feel like I'm always looking for that nurture. You understand? And it's like, I know for a fact that it affected my ability to love her. Yeah, I have a mom. My mom was present in my life, but not present in my life, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm. So, I really didn't have that mother-daughter bond, the love experience, so I didn't know how to show the love to Tamika. Mm. Okay, now y'all know I enjoyed that episode. Now I'm gonna change my outfit <laughs> for this third episode. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.